Hey guys, it's Tark with Cyclone FPV, and I am getting ready to do a very, very quick, very short video on the uh, Firefly, uh, the HD camera. This is uh, this is one of mine that I fly with. <coughs> it's been banged up pretty good, but <clears throat> I do like it. It's a, it's the uh, first series of the um, uh, micro action cam that they came out with that has the SD card on it, and there is a firmware update for them. And I had a customer write me about a problem he had with the firmware update, so I figured I'd do this real quickly for you guys. So let me go ahead and just switch screens here, and we'll go ahead and do this. So what we have right now is this is the Firefly camera, and here is the uh, micro SD card, and I've got the adapter because it's going to go in the PC, and I'm actually going to put the screen on here. So let me do that and get rid of my ugly mug here real quick. So let me <clears throat> let me add the um, let me add the computer screen here, and uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go like this and this. Here we go. All right, so. What you're going to see is this is a Cyclone FPV page, and I know I've been moving a lot of these posts around in tutorials and stuff, but what I did is when customers ask me questions, I created this new forum, and this is where I'm going to start posting the questions and answers. It'll be a lot easier. When I do stuff, I'll have it in tutorials and uh, probably a link in the forum or what have you, but for you guys, I want you guys to start going here because only because it'll help me and help some other customers as well. So here's a new forum link right here, and then I'm just going to go to latest topics because I started this topic for the gentleman. So I'm going to click latest topics, and the first thing you're going to see right here is the camera will not power on after the um, after an update via the SD card, and this is for the Firefly. So if you want it to look by category, just, just to give you an idea, all the categories are here, and I'm going to start posting. Now, this is brand new, so I mean, there's a lot. There's not a lot of topics in here right now, but there's a lot of uh, categories made for people if they need stuff, and usually it's going to be on stuff that we're selling uh, that you can get from our site, but you can do anything. So here's the, uh, if you look under the, uh, the main category headings, they're all done by manufacturer, and then here's the Firefly uh, 160 HD camera, and if you click on that, you'll end up in the same spot here where uh, the topic was the camera will not power on after the update via SD card. So I created that for him, uh, and I copy and pasted his stuff here, and then um, if you scroll down here, now here's the website that you need to go to. Here's a link to be able to get the firmware update. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this, okay? So first thing is you're gonna click this link and it's gonna take you to their, I believe their Google, um, uh, you're gonna get to their page, which will then have a link to their Google download. So right here on, the Google, on their Google Drive is the download. Now make sure you understand, this is for the microcam. You don't, it's not for any of the rest of these. So please don't try to load any of these firmwares on here. These are all different cameras. This is for the microcam, so I put the link there. And what you're gonna do is you're basically gonna click this first. And it's gonna take you to a new page where you can click the download. So go ahead and download it. And I guess that'll drop into your downloads folder, okay? Now, they're very specific on how you have to do this. So let me just kind of go back to the page. Simply put, they want you to put a SD card in the computer, format it, put the firmware on that card, and then put it in the camera, and then turn it on, all right? So I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to do this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the um, SD card in the uh, adapter because on my laptop here, it doesn't have spot for that size. And I'm going to go ahead and insert that in. Make sure I get this done properly. Give me one second. Okay, so that's in there now. And uh, I could care less about this, but I'll just tell it I'll go ahead and open it. All right, so I already had something on here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to click format. And I'm just going to use a fat, you can use fat32 or fat, uh, well, fat32 in this case, I guess would be fine. And uh, uh, I had done this on my Mac first. So let me just go ahead and so the Mac put a volume label of you. Let me just go ahead and put uh, Firefly and I think that should hold. And we'll do a quick format real quick. Okay, start. And we're gonna click OK. Uh, okay, it shouldn't be right protected. One second, sorry. I didn't realize that might be. Um, let me just eject it real quick. All right, now, I think I may have the right protect. I didn't think I did, but oh, there. Let's see if that works. I didn't, I didn't know if that was right protected or not. That's my apologies. All right, so it should open and we're gonna do it again. So let's go to format. And uh, we're just gonna call it Firefly. And we're going to format it quickly. It's still right protected. Wonderful. So let me just see what is going on on my system. It should not be. Sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, get out of there. Now let me see. What did I do on here? No, it shouldn't be. I'm not sure what is happening because the right protection on this should be off at this point. Uh, let me see if I can do this a different way then. This may be because I had the Mac on there first. Sorry, this was not part of the tutorial. Uh, let's see if I can just delete this then. Let's just delete this. Yes. All right, fine. So we'll do that. As far as the formatting goes, I'm really uh, not sure why I cannot get this to format, uh, but we'll start. Well, let's see if it'll do it this way. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So uh, I think I just clicked the wrong thing there when I was doing it before. So let me see if I can go ahead and label it now. I don't know if it was the label. No, nope. it was just that I clicked the wrong link. So that's my bad. I think on here, just to point out, I clicked the bottom uh, link to the drive and not the top link. So that's my fault. 
All right. Anyway, so uh, point being is that we have a blank SD card, uh, and it's called Firefly. I clicked this one. That's where I messed up, apparently. So here's the Firefly card, and now we know we have our downloads. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to uh, open this one in a new window because I want to see it, and I'll do it by date because I got so much. So here's the Firefly download, and I, I've got all bin files associated with the OpenTX, so just ignore that. But basically, just take this and copy it over to your SD card. All right. When it's done being copied, if you're on a Mac, you're going to do basically the same thing. And when it's done being copied, go ahead and right click on your um, drive and just click eject. Okay. Uh, okay. It's not done yet, apparently. So let me just go ahead and close these out. All right. There we go. So now we're going to go ahead and remove the card. And now we're going to get down to the. Now we go, go ahead and we can. Uh, increase the size of the screen here. Bear with me a second. There we go. All right, so now that we've done that part, uh, the next instruction says to go ahead and just put the card in the camera. So remember, it's gonna go in this direction. So go ahead and put it in there. And it does claim, and I'm gonna zoom this camera in real quick. Let me get this in there, there we go. So, uh, okay, I didn't know I had the thing on. Let me turn this off real quick, I apologize. Your camera needs to be off, so. All right, so let me zoom in. And so you can see the blinking light as well. Um, so basically, you're going to put the, cam the card in the camera like this, and, well, I guess it's going to automatically come on, and when it does, you're supposed to see blinking, and this blinking means that it is updating, and when it's solid, and it's done, and now it's solid and done, uh, now you can go ahead and hold the power button down for like a three count, two, three, let go, and it'll power off, all right? Now, that means the firmware's been done. So it's gonna blink and then it's gonna stop. Now you can go ahead and put the card back in because they want you to remove the firmware when you're done, right? So going really quickly back to this, um, what we're gonna do here is uh, it's created our folder, but we, they want us to get rid of this or else it's just gonna keep loading the firmware every time you put it in. So let's click yes. Okay, and it's created our folder right here and this is the folder where it's gonna store all our videos. So once you delete the firmware, just go ahead and close and eject your drive like normal. Let me make sure that I get this done. All right, there we go. So now we'll go back to the camera. So I'm gonna take the card out and we'll just do a run, uh, a quick test to show that it's working. So let me, and I didn't know that. I, I guess I didn't know that when you put the SD card in, it automatically turns on. Uh, okay, not in this case. Maybe if you have the bin file in there, I guess. So I just press the power button to turn it on. All right, and so now what I'm gonna do is just do a quick record and this screen has been cracked a hundred times over. Whoops, let me turn this on. All right, now let me press the button. You should see it blinking. Okay, so it's blinking right now, so it's recording. So let me zoom out, that's a pretty big zoom. So uh, let's see, so here is what we're working on. This is a test, uh, and you can see right there, there's the camera right there. It's got a cracked screen on it because I flew it hard, but there you go, and we'll go ahead and do that. Make sure that it's all still blinking, everything looks good, and we'll power it off, okay? So now we're done, we're done recording. I press the power button again. Now three count, two, three, let it go. And it's gonna power off here in a second. Take the memory card out. And we're gonna go ahead and pop in the computer and make sure that everything works, okay? Whoops. So hang tight one second. Let me put that back in. Pop that back in there. All right. Okay, now let's go ahead and screen share this part. There we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open our folder that it created. It's right here, and then let's just go ahead and open this up. And you'll see this cruddy funny movie. Uh, there it is. All right, and so we can see now that the camera's working fine. Uh, I did not have audio, I don't have audio on mine. I just connected my audio a while ago. Um, but uh, there you go, okay? So that's pretty much how it works, guys. And that's how you're gonna do your Firefly update. But again, make sure you're using the micro action cam and not any of the other cameras. If you've got the first series, which is the one that I'm selling right now, uh, online. So make sure you do the update like that. If you have any questions, hit me up. Go to the forum though. Again, the forum is going to be uh, at our website. So if you look here, you go to cyclonefpv.com, you're going to see a lot of things on the forums. You can ask questions here. It's brand new. There's not many people posting because they all write me directly. I'm going to start forwarding those questions and everything to this forum so that other people can find answers too. All right. If you have any questions, guys, hit me up. Uh, if not, God bless, safe flying, and we will see you soon. Take care, guys. Peace. Bye.